What is going on everyone? Welcome back to the Stock Trends channel. So in this video, we have a lot to talk about here for Sundial Growers, ticker symbol SNDL. Some decent updates, at least I have some opinions, my thoughts, but what's gonna happen next? We have just fallen through the 45 cent level, which if you were to go back and watch some previous videos here on the channel about SNDL, we were talking about how that was a pretty decent support. That was a fairly critical level to hold for now, and it seems as if we are falling back below. But real quick before we dive into the video, if you wouldn't mind jumping down and subscribing to the channel, hitting the thumbs up, button, making sure those notifications are turned on, and grabbing your four free stocks with a Weeble. There's a link in the pinned comment and description box. That's this platform we're using right now to chart and to go over all these stocks that we talk about here on the channel. So that being said, SNDL right now. So we had 45 cents. That was our line in the sand for right now as saying, hey, SNDL looks like it's starting to reverse. They had somewhat positive news saying they had another 180 day period to comply with the NASDAQ minimum bid requirement of $1. Now, the problem here is that there's a couple ways to do that. And for those who are invested in the stock or for those who are trading the stock, you don't wanna be caught in this stock when they announce they're going to do a reverse stock split because more likely than not, the stock will pull back. However, that's actually a really good sign. So here's the actual price release. Sundial receives approval for NASDAQ listing transfer to allow additional 180 day compliance period. So they have to essentially get the price over $1. Now they could do that by simply getting the stock price up with announcing news and, and allowing people to trade in and, and build the stock price up um, by demand. But most likely that's not going to happen, at least the trend that we're on right now with SNDL. So it looks like to me, they're setting up for a potential reverse stocks. But now why is that a good thing? Well, the reason why it's actually a good thing is we take a look at the float right here. 432 million, which means that's the amount of shares that are available to trade. So when it comes down to the float, right, that's not a terribly small float, but considering this is a stock that's under 50 cents, okay, it's not as bad as, as a stock, let's say, that had a float of, of that size that was a couple dollars, right? That stock's gonna be a lot heavier in a sense where it's gonna take a lot more volume to move the stock, but if SNDL does a reverse stock split, if you own shares right now and you're holding through a reverse stock split, you'll now have less shares, but the price will be higher. So that's personally now what I'm thinking here that I'm gonna be waiting for that here with SNDL. Once they do that, this float is gonna tighten up because now let's say you had 10 shares that now becomes one share, for example, if that's what they decide to do, like a 10 for one. Well, the float's gonna shrink significantly and a recent pattern that we've been seeing over the past couple months and just in general is that a lot of previous reverse stock split stocks like to run. And sometimes when they announce news post reverse stock split, the stocks run. Now this is actually a pretty hot sector, the MJ sector, the cannabis sector, right? This is actually a really hot sector going forward. So we got to be watching SNDL. And I think based on the recent movements we actually had when we had the Moore Act going through Congress and the initial stages of that, Based on that and based on traders past experiences, having this stock go from like 25 cents to uh, just about a dollar, uh, I think traders will be ready to go and they will love, 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 love to jump into SNDL, which could attract a lot of volume. And we all know that volume precedes price action. So going forward, where could SNDL go? In the meantime, I'm waiting to see if it comes down to this 50 SMA, which right now is sitting here at 33 cents. Now, as SNDL comes down, this is gonna pull up. So maybe around 34, 35 cents is gonna be the area that I'm watching for SNDL. Could line up pretty well with this top right here. So this could be another area we're gonna watch right in here. Previous area of resistance now becomes new support as we have the 50 SMA coming up with it. So about 35 cents would be my guess, of course, to watch SNDL. It does have some further support though. If we do come down, down around 25 and 23, 22 cents, that could be another solid support area to potentially grab a starter position if SNDL does come down that far. And so again, this is technically speaking, of course, SNDL could drop a press release tomorrow and the stock could pop. So of course, you know, take that into account, take that into consideration, but this is what we're expecting. This is what I'm at least I'm looking at right now, how I see SNDL. So hopefully this helps you guys out. If it did, make sure you're subscribed to the channel. Hit the thumbs up button. I appreciate every single one of you guys who does so. Also grab your four free stocks with Weeble. That's until the end of the month. That's when they are expiring that offer right now. Free platform. That's what we're using here on the channel every single day. Thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you in the next video. Peace.